Marcelo, I'm from Brazil. Because I was born in a small city in a rainforest, so I think probably is linked with this idea of nature, the life flow around. Very soon you start to get this interest in nature and science. And this, remember that we have a, a few of this rainforest and they are in danger, so it's important for science to have this forest go on like this. It's 100 years to grow up a forest like this and just some hours to burn it to ashes. My interest in physics, I think, start uh, I can the graduate level. With uh, start to like more physics and math. I think some teachers noted this also. Yeah. Master degree was in the São Paulo State University and the PhD in Rio de Janeiro State University. I spent one year in a postdoc on Penn State University. I met Klee and Kyujia by internet. We started to talk by email and I remember we talked by Skype. Before I go to this postdoc, I come here like one week and we start to discuss, and then we continue to talking. When I was there to come here work after, it was 2014 that I got one paper from Cleo on the, the hard problem of consciousness, so, and we start to discuss there. Yeah. Right now I'm working here. There are some different line, lines of research. Mostly I'm on this connecting physics and our quasi-crystal simulations. For example, I'm working on the interface between Fibonacci annuals and quasi-crystals. We believe that the problem of uh, a large-scale quantum computer uh, should be addressed with uh, this topological quantum computing. So it's about the topological phase of matter like Fibonacci annuals. And our insight is that we need to put this over a, a quasi-crystal substrat. I think about this around now more specifically in a connection between this spin networks, quantum of geometry, and topological matter. So it's looking for a equality where you have quantum of geometry on side topological matter in other side, like uh, if we start with general relativity and start to think about quantum gravity, then you have Einstein equation with geometry, classic geometry and quantum matter on one side. Then you have this advance with the wheeler de Witt equation where you have a Hamiltonian constraint, where, but you have only uh, geometry, quantum of geometry. Then the next step would split this Hamiltonian constraint in a network. In our case, the quasi-crystalline spin network. And then over the same network, you look for topological observables. So they are function of areas and volumes. The quantum computer, I think. I think science can unlock this problem of energy, we need a more clean and 
cheaper uh, source of energy that fundamental science can give us to replace the, this older paradigm. I think I better understand uh, science can unlock this understand of nature as one thing and we are part of this one thing and how we can help and talk more about uh, sharing and corporations and this fight between these different parts in nature but more about cooperation, sharing, love. <laughs> advice for who want to work in quantum physics is, I think it's two, one technical and one more general. <laughs> the technical would be to study the SU2 B group. SU2 is like a building block of nature. The general advice is, yeah, not have fear to make mistakes. <laughs>